Today we're talking about the uh, monk drums and the tones that they can create and of course you've got to be able to create those tones with your hands and so I'm doing a little teaching series on how to uh, make, make your monk drums sound the best they possibly can and uh, we've been talking about all the different types of tones and this next tone is going to be the manoteo stroke. Okay, manoteo, it's uh, actually derived from the, the, the uh, hand drum, the congas, uh, uh, the Cuban and Puerto Rican uh, uh, types of, of, of playing congas. So the manoteo stroke is actually a combination stroke of a bass tone and what we call the fingertip uh, stroke or the tip stroke. Okay, so you, have, you kind of have a heel and a toe kind of a motion. Okay, heel, toe, HT, in the music you'll see it written HT or PT, palm, tip. There's many different uh, ways of notating that. What matters is that you know what it means. Okay, so the sound of the bass tone. Uh, going back to the bass tone technique, don't forget a quick reminder that the bass tone is halfway between the center and the edge, and that's where you put your palm, and that's where you get your best sound there. Okay, of course, uh, the, the tip is now going to land probably just center or above center, and so you're going to get a lot of sound by just dropping in the fingers. Okay, so uh, a simple tone, uh, you just keep your hand relaxed, you don't need to do any kind of weird shape or anything, just relax the hand the way it's most naturally going to fall on, on the drum. Uh, that prevents any kind of injury, any kind of tension, uh, which you don't want to do. And it's very easy to get injured playing hand percussion, so you want to take care of yourself while you're doing this. So make sure that you drop in and just relax. So you're just doing this and this. Palm, tip, palm, tip, palm, tip. And if you notice, when I do my tip stroke, the palm stays planted on the drum, and I kind of leave the. It, um, my teacher taught me that I'm supposed to be able to wave at you when I and when I leave the drum on here. So you gotta go, drop it in, wave, drop the, the fingertip. A little practice thing, something you can do at home just to kind of make sure you're in the right position. Okay, you're being able to do this here, and you can just practice both hands if you want. Work of course building up the speed because the monofail stroke is going to be one that you will use uh, amongst other tones. It combines itself with the opens, the slaps, the open slaps, the bass tones. And so the monofail stroke gets kind of busy. It's the inside groove uh, that's being attained by the monofail stroke. And, and in, in my case, since I'm a right-handed player, my monofail stroke is played a lot with my left hand because it's, it's providing the, the inner grooves and the inner beats while my right hand is doing all the bigger tones. So <clears throat> Working on your bass tone and your fingertip tone together at the same time uh, gives, you, gives you a good rocking back and forth motion. Okay? Uh, some people have referred to it as like a fish out of water kind of a feel where you know a fish is flopping around on, out, of, out of water. Real relaxed, okay? Um, 10 minutes a day, you should probably work on your alternating uh, monotheo strokes so that you are alternating like this.